I know it's been a while, but please excuse my absence. Been a bit of a weird place myself mentally, but I'm trying to get back on track for you guys. Now let's talk about the thing that's big in the news right now. The Second Amendment to the United States Constitution. The right to keep and bear arms. Why is this so important with people shooting up schools and shit going crazy in the world? Everything's gone fucking nuts. Everything's off a goddamn cliff. People are shooting up schools, shooting up fucking parking lots, fucking shooting up everything. Now, was the answer to this taking guns away from law-abiding citizens? No. Why? Why would you punish somebody who's done nothing wrong? Just because a few crazy fucking people jump off the fucking deep end and do some crazy shit, even though the government, the FBI, had warning signs, knew about this kid on YouTube making fucking comments, talking about, I want to be a professional school shooter, and did nothing about it. I don't know what's in their fucking bylaws, what's in their bullshit to where, oh, we can't do this unless they do that, but something needs to fucking change. You know what I'm saying? I got a 10-year-old daughter. I got to worry about her going to school. There's fucking kids at schools around here. Fucking seventh graders that go to school and got a fucking kill list of people they want to kill. What the fuck is wrong with these kids? What the fuck is going on nowadays? Am I the only one that has a fucking problem with this? And you think the solution is to take the guns away from the people who've done nothing fucking wrong? That, that makes a lot of sense. Because we're... We're going to stop crime. We're going to stop crime, right? We're going to fucking stop crime by disarming all the police officers. How well did that fucking work out for the United Kingdom, for, for fucking Great Britain or London or whatever fucking country over there where they have no fucking gun laws or where they have really strict gun laws and the only people that carry guns are the fucking criminals? How has that worked out for them? But let's go off the fucking deep end, right? We banned cocaine, but nobody's ever been able to get cocaine, right? We banned meth. Nobody can go and fucking buy meth, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just fucking crazy. But we're going to take fucking guns away from people. Wasn't it Hitler? Wasn't it fucking Adolf Hitler? His evil ass had said some shit to the effect of, if you want to take over a country, the first step to doing it is disarming their fucking citizens. And I'm not saying we're trying to go out and fight the government and all that shit, but we have a right to fucking protect ourselves. I don't own a gun. Personally, I don't own a gun. I would like to. I don't have the extra money to fucking spend on one. But I know plenty of people that do, and I fucking agree with their right to do it. No, nah, I think there need to be strict background checks. I think there need to be different things in place. But let's just sweep across the board and say, you know what? One person went fucking crazy and shot up a fucking nightclub in Orlando. So we're taking everybody's fucking guns away. It's not that crazy person's fault. It's every law-abiding citizen's fault. So fuck it. Let's make guns completely illegal. And this shit, this shit about... Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, and whatever, whatever other fucking company saying, we're going to stop selling guns to people under the age of 21. So if I'm 18 years old, I can go overseas to Afghanistan, Iraq, wherever they fucking deploy, whatever fucking branch of the military you sign up for at 18 years old, you're good enough to carry a gun then. You're good enough to fucking die for your country, but you're not good enough to drink. And Walmart says you're not good enough to buy a fucking gun. This makes sense. Again, this is punishing the people who have done nothing fucking wrong for the couple fucking crazy people. Like, why, why, is this, why is this not so fucking crazy to me? Let's punish every lesbian for how fucked up Rosie O'Donnell is. That fucking makes perfect sense. Let's fucking punish every gay person for, I don't know, I can't think of a real fucked up gay person. Like, gay people are pretty cool. For the most part, you know? There's not really a lot of crazy gay people. They're like clean and cool and shit. But anyways, I digress. You can't punish everybody for a few fucked up people. You gotta change the fucking system. You gotta do something. You know, they're talking about metal detectors in these fucking schools. These schools can't even afford fucking textbooks. And then I see some shit where a teacher says, oh well, you know, I, I wouldn't want to carry a gun in school. I'm not here to call the duty people. That's not in my job description. So bitch, you're telling me you're, you're teaching a room full of fucking children and you're enough of a fucking cuck piece of shit to sit here and say, well, if somebody was shooting up the school 
and I had a handgun and I could stop it, I wouldn't because they don't pay me for that. That's fucking bullshit. Like, how are you not just as bad as the person that's fucking doing it? You're just going to sit there like a liberal piece of shit and fucking let it happen. And that's what the fuck is happening in our country. People are just standing by and letting this shit happen. Nothing fucking matters until it fucking comes home to you and it affects you personally. And that's the fucked up way that our country thinks right now and that's what we need to change people need to start caring about what the fuck is going on around them because maybe you can make a change and maybe you can stop some bad shit before it fucking happens to you or somebody that you fucking care about maybe 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 i'm just a raving fucking lunatic but i don't know you know what am I going to do? And, you know, you say, oh, well, the kid, he came into school with an AR-15 or an AK-47. What's a handgun going to do to stop that? Motherfucker, all it takes is one bullet. All it takes is one fucking bullet. Do you know how bullets work? If you shoot this motherfucker in the head, if you see somebody, if I was the cop, I wouldn't have let his ass out of the fucking parking lot. I wouldn't have let him out of the school. You fucking killed 17 innocent people on fucking camera. I would have gunned you down right there and gladly given up my fucking job for it. Because you're telling me that motherfucker deserves a fair trial? That's like saying the motherfuckers that did 9-11 deserve a fucking fair trial. Or... You know, any other fucking heinous act, like the Las Vegas shooter, if he wouldn't have fucking killed himself like the pussy he is, that he would have deserved a fair trial. No, you were caught witness on video killing innocent fucking people. You deserve to die right there on the fucking spot. Just like if you pull a gun on a fucking cop and didn't put it down when they told you to. But, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I'm just fucking crazy, right? Don't do anything in your own neighborhood. Don't give a fuck until this shit happens to you. Then it's a fucking problem. Then we're going to have a benefit fundraiser and everybody gives a fuck and nobody fucking loves me and nobody cares. But, you know, taking guns away is the fucking answer, right? When one bullet, one bullet could have saved 17 fucking lives. But maybe I'm just crazy. If one teacher, one armed security guard would, would, have, would have been fucking armed, one bullet, one bullet, he's shooting up the lunchroom, you take one bullet and fucking aim it right at his dome and pow, it's all over. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think in the fucking comments section. Reverend Burns getting real political in this bitch. We're going to fucking light it up in 2018 and see what the fuck people really think when they hear the truth. Add me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Reverend Burn, twitter.com slash DJ Burn 1987. Follow me on Twitch for my Fortnite streams, twitch.tv slash The Reverend Burn. Let's get this shit going, fellas. Ladies, gentlemen, if you don't like what I have to say, if you don't agree with anything I say, that is your right as a citizen of whatever fucking country you're watching this from, as it is also my right to let you know. And you can suck out my man titties, bitch!